Well, Stephen, um, before we talk about the game on Monday, um, how do you reflect on your first uh, nine or ten games as a Wellington Phoenix player? Yeah, it's been a mixed bag, I would say, with the ball, without the ball, taking a bit of time to get used to things. Um, obviously having a broken up pre-season, so I think that was a little bit, uh, took a bit of patience to get used to. Um, but now I'm getting into a, to a run of things and understanding defensive structure and things like that. So I've, I've really enjoyed my time. I'm sure that when those in power here were trying to attract your cross, they would have made you all sorts of promises and probably sold the club to you. Um, has it been what you expected? Yeah, well, it's been amazing, the facilities for number one. Like, they said that we're going to move to these amazing facili facilities and then we're here now and it's like, wow, this is uh, crazy. So, yeah, everything's lived up to the hype. The home fans have been good. The stadium's been good. Um, obviously, a little bit different with the travel. Um, being based in Sydney last year, there was a lot of New South Wales teams. So that little bit took a little bit of time to get used to and obviously the Perth trip was, a, was an eye-opener. Um, hopefully, oh, we don't have to do that again this season, so that's good. But, um, yeah, just the travel was probably a little bit that I had to get used to, but it's all good now. And in terms of the playing system that Ufuk Tele employs, I mean, it's, it's pretty obvious what he wants. Was it a challenge at all for you to fit into that system? Uh, I wouldn't say a challenge. It was just adapting a little bit and changing little things about my game that I probably did more in other systems to sit in this system. So obviously I did used to like to bomb on a fair bit and, and get forward when I get the chance, but now it's a lot more structured. And when I do do it, it's got to be at the right time and I've got to make sure players are covering. So it's quite a... It's quite uh, tactical and it's helped my game as well, I, I think. So is that something that you, have to con you still have to consciously think about or is it becoming subconscious now that you, know, you don't just bomb on? No, it's obviously you've always got to think about it, but it is becoming more second nature to sit first. My first thought is to have a look around before going. So that's, that's a good thing as well um, because it brings that defensive responsibility uh, with us sixes in there. So, um, yeah, it's something that I have gotten used to and I'm enjoying it now. Do you look at, at the guys in front of you who are playing in those two, I guess we'll call them tens anyway, uh, and think, oh, Actually, I'd quite like to play in that role, or are you, are you happy in the six? Nah, I like the six. I don't, I don't, I'm someone that doesn't like my back to goal a little bit and, <laughs> and likes everything in front of me. So that's, that's something that that's also they do. They do work really hard. They work just as hard as any of the midfielders in there. So it's a lot of work even in there at the 10. And obviously, they get a lot more joy with the ball going forward and the goals and things like that. So that's always nice. But as long as we're scoring, I'm happy. Melbourne City is your next assignment, big assignment. Do you look at the guys they've got in midfield, the likes of Aidan O'Neill and Valon Barisha, who's turned up to the uh, to the club, uh, Van de Ven as well? You know, they're pretty competent A-League players. Do you look at those players and, and relish locking horns with them? Yeah, there's going to be a good battle, and I think they are starting to hit their stride a little bit now, um, which is good. And I think we showed last game we can we can match it with them, and we did. Um, we obviously had chances even to win the game. So I think being at home this week, and, and like Clay said, two teams that like to play football is going to be a good, a good, exciting game. And we've got to match them in the middle. And I think that's one area of the field that's going to be really important. And the A-League's so tight. I mean, Newcastle won the other day and went from 11th to 6th, I think, or something like that. Does it feel like a very... I mean, you've been in the league a long time. Does it feel as even as it's as it's ever been? Yeah. Um, you look at the weekend. We, a few weeks ago, we beat MacArthur, and they go and win on the weekend, and they go up to third place. And it's you look at that, and I think it's whoever turns up on the day at the moment and, and performs the best and does well, I think is going to just go on a run and win it. So it's very close um, from middle to table to the bottom and middle to the top. So... I think you get on a run, uh, maximise the home games and, and points away from home, and I think anything can happen. Yeah, and just to finish, is that something you feel that Wellington can do, get on a bit of a run? 100%. We've spoken about it. Um, everyone's aware of it in this league that you go on a run and then you go get six points in two games. It's massive. Um, and then also the momentum and, and going to away to teams like Perth and, and grabbing a draw. It looks like not the best result, but it was a... 24-hour trip we played we didn't play our best football and still came away with the result so I think um, teams are starting to get a bit more aware of us um, which is good and it's up to us that believing in ourselves and the system and going from there